I want to see what this is. Oh my. Hello everyone, the ranks is here. Welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 138. Where today, we're going to be spending a little bit of time around our home system. Doing a little bit of maintenance work. Work on the base, maybe sightseeing some other bases. All around good times. But first, we're going to have to swing over to our freighter. Our little humble, humble capital ship and do some debriefing of our fleet commanders and send them on their way. Because they have been awaiting their next assignment for a little bit now, and I've just sort of been neglecting them. Because I've been so excited to find a, pe a place to call home. We're just going to do a little survey of our ships. You should have been... Oh no, that's the good fighter. Exotic. Exotic, exotic. You are going to have to be traded in for another exotic somewhere. I really want a cargo bay just full of epic ships. Uh, actually, hold on. Before we do all of that, uh, we have some things for our starship. So, I went ahead and uh, reloaded the game a couple of times here in this system as they happen to sell Photon Cannon Module S's. And we don't have all of the nanites that we want, but we do have some. Enough to get us looking fairly good combat-wise. Uh, now, we're going to install the conflict scanner here, right? That takes a walker brain. We'll have to go up and grab one of those. Uh, but we're also going to uninstall uh, these drives as it has been um, reminded to me a fair bit in the comments that those really aren't necessary. That once you have the indium warp drive, you're pretty much able to warp wherever you want. So we're going to have to move the indium drive... Uh, to get them... Ooh. Well, it appears like all of our plants are ready to go. I approve of this. How is the Mordite stockpile looking currently? Hmm. It is low. We shall have to get more. Twenty-five each, that's a hundred and two hundred. That'll be good. So we'll just harvest our Mordite root. No! Ugh. Leave me be. I don't need to maintain my hydroponic tray. I really don't. There we go. Now the one thing we need out of storage, too, is some emeril. So we can deconstruct the indium drive and then reconstruct it here. Perfect. Uh, next, I think what we'll do is actually install the teleport receiver, and then and then here we will put the shield module that we have an extra one of. And then here we'll do photon, photon cannon modules once we have the nanites. And then this is where the conflict scanner will go. And then very quickly, this ship is going to end up becoming something really magnificent. Uh, let's make sure we've cleaned out all this room. Launch fuel, tritium, silver, platinum, pyrite, all very good, very good. And a little bit of room. Still a little bit of inventory, even when it's fully decked out. Although this is primarily a traveling warping ship. It's going to be warping a lot, so it is going to see some conflict. Um, again, I have to agree with uh, West Coast Scott's sort of proposed layout, I guess, if you will. I uh, analyzed it, and I have to find that that is probably the superior layout, and so that's what we're going to go with. Um, let's secure our walker brain, actually, and install that conflict scanner now while I'm thinking of it, provided I still have the technology modules, which I do. Excellent. 
perhaps we'll grab the last walker brain that we currently have, even though getting more is as easy as picking a fight. And then here we will install Conflict Scanner. And at this point, this ship is very crazy awesome. And once we get once we get three more photon cannon upgrades over here, this ship will be a beast. So that being said, all of that is done. I think we are going to try and debrief these ships quick as we can. Let's just see what we get here. So it's going to be daggers, rare metal elements, that's good, more daggers, money, 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 and that's it. Okay. Excellent. The daggers, I dare say we're going to hold on to only because... Only because we are not currently maxed out with our rep for the Viking. These rare metal elements are going to come with us, though. so that we can build our base with them. Okay. Let's see what this fleet got. Inventory is full. Not enough inventory to handle it. Let's see if that's enough. We really need a bigger freighter. We really do. Wow. Still inventory full. Let's see if one thing made the difference. You think? Jeez. All right, well, we're going to debrief the other fleet instead. See if they're ready to be debriefed. All right, we got money, and uh, this is going to end up... Whenever it says discovery data worth and then a small amount of units, it's because you got an item you can sell for more units. So we got some more money. Corvax casing, some more money. Activated emerald, more money. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what that's all about. But then money, money, money. Dirty bronze, activated indium, gek, relic, viking, dagger, money, money. Wow. What a heck of an expedition. Packet of toxic bugs, approximately 857 years old. The sample has sprouted several additional samples. Seedlings that have rapidly germinated and begun growing since their host was once again exposed to light and air. Hmm. Let's sell some of these items, shall we? Packet of toxic bugs we're going to sell. Let's go right to the freighter inventory. We'll just sell it straight from there. Like the Corvax casings. We don't need those. Actually might hold on to those activated metals. Yeah, actually. I am going to hold on to those activated metals because those are an extremely high amount of Chromatic metals. No, those go to the starship. And these we're going to have to find a place for on board the ship. Okay. I suppose we can always put some dirty bronze here where we took the walker brain out of. Let's do that. And then the daggers will be moved over to the starship. Along with the relics. These can go on high capacity inventory. The platinum can go to the starship. Nitrogen, why am I holding on to that? I don't know. I don't know. That's going to all be chromatic metal, chromatic metal, pure ferrite. Glass, we're still holding on to some glass. Sodium can go here. What am I missing? Ah, oh, my save point. I left my manual save point at the base. That's quite all right. Quite all right. And I'm pretty sure all we're going to have to do for the time being is uh, we'll just grab these out of here and that should be plenty. Right? It's going to be a lot of items. There we go. So what did we get? Activated emerald, chloride, lattice, grantine, aronium, activated copper, tetracobalt, aronium, indium, grantine. Oh, wow. I don't know what that's not going to be anything. Carbon crystal, aronium. Wow, wow, wow. Lots of items. And we got Soak fruit. Mm, let's just sell that now. Sell it now, shall we? Let's 
Exosuit inventory should be somewhere in here. There it is. Now the big thing is that we want to get rid of all of these elements. I think we're pretty sure these activated components are going to end up being a significant amount of chromatic metal, like I said, so I don't really want to get rid of them. We're going to hold on to them. Oh, look at all these things. Wow. What else is left on our freighter? Jeez. Activated copper. Right. Tetra cobalt. Okay. Carbon crystals. Chloride lattice. Good night. And then this stuff. This stuff is probably going to have to stay here, actually, for the time being. Let's send this stuff back to the freighter. And I don't think we... I don't know if we have enough fuel to really send out a ton of expeditions. Maybe some short ones. I just want to assess our, our frigate fleet. I'm not trying to spend forever here. We've already been here for a few minutes. But let's just look. What do we have? Maybe a nice long expedition. A nice long balanced expedition. Yes. So, let's assign... Oh yeah, there we go. We're starting to get some S classes. Let's see, combat, support, exploration, industrial, trade. I think that's perfectly good. Um, it only requires 650 tons. We absolutely have that covered. Let's uh, let's send them. Pew, nice long expedition, and then that'll be all we send. Okay. I don't know if we have the fuel really. What's that, 14, 1,500 tons? Maybe. Hold on, maybe we do. We have a nice long one star. Another balanced. That's good, that's good. So we'll go trade, support, combat, exploration, industrial. Perfect. Boom, send them on their way. Excellent. And then, that's probably going to be it. We're very short on fuel now. No, we're not. Oh, my goodness. I misspoke. We are going to have enough to send all three expeditions out, I, I guess. So the next one will be a relatively short one, right? Trade expedition. It's going to be trade. Send combat for support. Support. What does that look like? Fleet rating, and then maybe... Yeah, mind control device, plus 10 trading. Uh, we just have the one. That's good. Let's use it just to give them a little boost. Maybe even we'll send another trade ship. No, we don't have another trade ship. We could send the trade galleon to Hara's Will. I guess we want to send a little bit of everybody. Fuel st is still required to be short. Might as well send out a full, full expedition, right? Ugh. Okay. Now that all that's been done, now we can just get out of here. We did all the stuff on the freighter we needed to do. And there was quite a bit to do. I do like seeing all these fancy starships in the hangar of my freighter. I just wish the freighter was... Awesome enough to match it. That's okay, all in due time, right? I guess we'll just leave this stuff on our starship for now. Okay, so. Look at our killer home planet. All those islands and oceans. And that sort of seafoam sky really cool atmosphere. So I believe our bases are directly underneath us, right? So there's our base. Funex Phonetics base. Look, you can see the shadow of the freighter there. Let's go to uh, let's go to Buff 50's base first. Let's see what their setup is like. OK, 
Okay, alright, hold up. There we go. Excellent. Sort of a nice flat place. Oh, look at that. It's like a little little camping thing. Oh, we should have taken some of the decorations off of our freighter. No, curse you. That's okay. We'll be back. I don't know how we're going to decorate our, our base just yet. I want to see what this is. Oh my. Oh, all oh, this is pretty snazzy. Oh, with a cave, it breaks right into a cave with vortex cubes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. This is uh, pretty inspiring. I'm glad I swung over here. This is pretty cool. And you can put the oxygen, har oxygen harvester inside. Of course you can. And it just connects to all these caves. Yep, and then here's the here's the connector they were talking about in the comments. From a non-formed room into a formed room is a wall-door-hallway combo. And that's how you bridge the two. Oh, wow. We're going to save right here. Very, very cool. Very cool. And then what do we have here? A little bit of a stairwell. I sort of wish they had elevators in this. feel like with all the space magic floating around, we can swing for some elevators. But even still, nice little staircase is pretty handy. A couple of refiners. Do not touch must agree to these terms okay um, I won't touch terbium growth donated by buff 50 must agree to these terms well I'm not gonna touch anything I'm, I'm just looking I'm not sure what terms terbium growth I don't see any I don't Okay, it must be up above me, maybe. Maybe the terms are over here. Oh no, it's all just storage. But you can't access... Yeah, you can't access other people's storage. That's not a thing. It doesn't even let me access my storage here. Which you would think it would. You would think it would just give me access to my storage. But it does not. Alright, okay. So where are we? Oh... Oh, indoor trees. Oh, we got to get some more quicksilver. Oh, yeah, look at this. Pretty snazzy, actually. Pretty snazzy. Yep, there's the portal. Do not touch must agree to these terms. Uh, yeah, okay. Oh, this thing is cool. Yeah, we need some more quicksilver. Nice little couch with plants. Oh, terbium growth. Terbium growth donated by buff 50. What is a terbium growth? I don't know what that means. Oh, an aquarium! This looks like one of those anomaly things that you pick up from the anomaly planet. Which, we're not going to pick up your your decoration. Star Bramble. Oh, look at these statues. And then there's like a balcony out here. Very inspirational. Yep, this is this is a pretty legit base. I like this. Very cool. Thank you very much, Buff50, for setting this up where we could showcase it here on the channel. Oh, look at this. Oh, look! It's our guy! 
from last episode. Hey there, a little pet. Oh man, killer. No, oh, hold on, we haven't even seen it all yet. There's still more. Welcome, Frankstein Expanse Museum. Oh, yes, killer. Look at this. And then, yep, there it is. Okay, so so I jumped down. I took the wrong way. It's supposed to be welcome. <laughs> Whoops. Right. So you land, and then you and then you and then you come in this way. Welcome, Thrangsian Expanse Museum. All the different plants and stuff. Oh, look at that. What is this? Gamma weed. This just says search. Oh, it's a venom urchin. Wow, okay. No, this is this is really cool. It's really cool. It's like just this big glass room and then it goes down. I especially enjoy the underground though. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I also wanted to focus on this. Because this is how I want to do my storage, is something like this. So, so again, it's storage tacked onto hallways. Yep, is what it looks like. Right here where the refiners are. No, this is nice. This is nice. Big fan. Big, big fan. The cave. It's tied into the cave. Oh man. Yeah, I'm kinda I'm gushing a little hard, but it's it's pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool indeed. And then you're just down in the cave. Probably took a good bit of supplies. This is nifty. Built right into the earth here. How did you get? How did you get the the earth so flat? Oh, I bet. I bet I know. I bet you built you built ceiling tiles and then you broke them, right? Yeah, that's see. And then the cave just continues out this way. Pretty spiffy. Okay, well now we have to go check out um, Phoenix Phonetics Base. I have to re-explore these caves a little bit. No, 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 we're not going to get lost in the caves. Alright, let's go back to our ship. Very cool. Very, very cool. I do accept these terms, by the way. <laughs> I very much accept these terms. Good stuff. Okay. Let's go check out Phonex Phonetics Base. Let's see what this place is all about. It's going to be a little hard to see with the storm here. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, we got a landing pad on the back side here. I did not mean to take out that tree. I hope that was not, that was not part of your planned landscaping. All right, this time we'll go in through the entrance. Jingle Museum. Way day, okay. Oh, look at that! An autonomous mining unit set right in on the silver. Clever. Clever. Here, I'll do you a favor. I'll, uh, I'll donate some condensed carbon to it. Nice! <laughs> Oh, with the aquarium. I've got to get more Quicksilver. I did not do enough daily missions to 
Quicksilver. Oh, there's a dock. What? Wow. Some real creative stuff. This is cool. And you just gotta have your Nautilus dock there. So let me see how this... So this is like archways. Yeah, so it's like you built archways on all four sides going down to give it supports. Oh, man. I like this. Wow. Okay. Oh, look at this. Greeting, Thranxes. Thought I'd drop by. And I'm so glad you did. Nah, I like this. This is the one thing I was able to get with my... My Quicksilver is this thing. Go on appearance station. A little lounge area. Yeah. Wow. I am just blown away. Yep, and there's the bed. Oh, look at the way the lights are on the roof like that. Oh, jeez. Wow. Yeah, I've I've got a little bit of work to do. I need to uh, I need to think through some of my some of my layout and decorations because this is really neat. Like, like it's almost it's kind of quaint. It's like it's it's like small, but it's got a lot of character to it because it's got all these different like angled rooftops and look at this, this overhang, like a little patio. Oh man. Let's start scanning some of these plants. Yep, and then here's the portal over here. Wow. Thank you, FunX Phonetics, for for dropping by. This is really cool. I like that. Oh, oh, wait. A little under area with the base computer. Pygoth Holiday Base. Nice. It's got the flag. It's got flags on it. That's how you know it's official. So I don't have a flag on mine yet. It's not official. I like that. That's that's a neat plant to have growing in your house. Well, unfortunately, my base needs more work. Goodness. My base needs a good bit more work. Oh, there you have it. Okay. Now, what is that that you connected to? That's like a a glass cuboid room, right? And it still snapped the the trade terminal there on the glass. Oh, see, this is really interesting to see how all these pieces snap together. Because rooms like this just have so much character and you got the vent on it. Oh, wow. I have to step up my game. Oh, this is great. This is killer. Okay. Well, I guess let me go back to uh, to my base. Which very much is going to require a little bit of work. No, no, no. Don't make me start a big sentinel fight near my house. Come on. I haven't done a lot to my base since the last time I showed it, but I have done a little bit, and we're gonna, I'm just going to show, show what it is. Where my head's been at, what I've been working on. 
Again, I'm still I'm still learning how a lot of these pieces snap together, and as much as I would like to just work on the base like a ton off camera, I really can't. It's not really a thing I can do. I have noticed these struts here. They get a little messed up with the uh, the flora underneath them, so that's okay. I suppose we should upload what we have while I'm thinking of it. And we'll do it on camera. That way everybody can see we are uploading. Okay. So we've got ladders now on both sides. We've got five oxygen harvesters. So this is going to be a connector to go to the next area here. But now what we have... Let's go ahead, we'll save, and then we'll pick this up. So what we have is we sort of have the same thing over there that's been over there, but now this room has been made a little larger. We're starting to add a little bit of decorations, a little bit of items. We have a massive array here of refiners that are all processing various metals that we that we need. Magnetized ferrite. Most of them are doing, yeah, rare metal elements. And then up here, a trade terminal. And then up here we've sort of got its own floor. This is going to start to be something, I'm thinking, some not quite an observation deck, but I do like the view, especially during the day. You get a big rainbow that comes up between these two mountains. And then we have these hallways that bend back this way. Sort of gets to the back side of this building, which I'm really not too excited about. It looks a little yucky, so we might try to expand on the other side kind of use solid blocks to space it out and then do glass on the other side sort of like we've got on this side and then maybe it won't look so bad I don't know though after looking at the other two bases that are built here I very very much need to step up my game because some of those are looking really, really cool. Alright, let's start cracking down this... Um, I guess we'll start with the cadmium first. And then we'll start cracking down some of this activated uh, um, emerald and some of this activated indium. And then I guess... If I was to really look around for what I wanted to do... I don't know. We don't really have sort of a natural cave anything. Of course there's no slots. We're relatively close to the water-ish. But that just might not be anything we can do. Again, it would be really cool if we had an elevator. Or some sort of elevator, something we could use. But we settled up kind of high on this mountain, so the water is going to end up being a bridge too far. But that's alright. I am... Really? Yeah, it's just too much. It's just too much stuff. And get rid of that nitrogen. There you go. Now we've made room. Now we won't have to waste that stuff anymore. Down here on the beach. I thought about doing beachfront. In the end, I think we're going to keep what we have so far. What we really need and what the main purpose of this base was. Just so everyone's clear. I hope you're still watching. I know it's kind of the end of the episode, but... The main purpose of this base was to mass produce resources. This this base is to be a manufacturing center first and foremost that mass produces resources in a way that we can begin to lay out race tracks and bases in future locations with near unlimited resource pool. 
to pick from. And that is its point. And so it will be laid out accordingly with lots of large refiners and storage areas. And it's going to make a lot of things that will make us money, but also make a lot of things that will be constructed. Because if you look, if we go to equipment decoration, is it under structures? No. Equipment. You know, to be fair, I'm not sure where the racing components are stored. I know it takes a a race starting point. It's got to be in permanent technology, right? No, maybe not. It wouldn't be under portable technology. Oh, there it is. Exocraft modules, right. So you're talking about metal plating, race obstacle, race initiator, metal plating microprocessor, ion battery. You can just see it's going to, well, I don't know. This is interesting. What we'll have to determine is if we're able to build those those raised components where we don't have a base. So you can see the back side of this building though, not very appealing at all. We want to fix that. We do. Even the side of it is sort of, you know, rough, but it is it is a factory, so we do want it to look nice-ish but ultimately if it doesn't look grand it doesn't look grand let's go ahead and we'll start taking some of this oxygen so that we're prepared to make more uh, rare metal element later because we're gonna need a lot of that pure ferrite and then also we've got frost crystals and to harvest in the little biodome up there, which can help us out with windows. Uh, but for episode 138, I think that's where we're going to wrap things up. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you so much to Buff50 and Funix Fanatics for swinging by and putting a base on the planet. Really cool. Had a blast checking it out. Um, if anyone else watching has the desire to swing here and build a base, I will give you a few days and uh, likely a week and then I will swing by and showcase it on the channel. The uh, the Thranxian Expanse is already starting to become alive and well as we're colonizing the planet. But thank you so much for joining me and I hope you had a good time watching because as always I've had a good time playing. Be sure to come back next time as we continue to grow our manufacturing section here and hopefully make it look Somewhat nice. Hopefully nice. <gasps> Hello. From Pwn Stream. <laughs> but until next time. Take care.